Hi, and thanks for watching another video from Pro Audio Development. Today we're going to talk about mixing console lights. And the, uh, the ones I have here are off of the console that I use at church. It's a Yamaha M7CL. This one is one I had laying around. I have no idea. It's a 3-pin XLR. I have no idea what it fits. Uh, I have yet to find a bulb that will actually go in there. Um, other than these $9 halogen bulbs. Actually, I stand correct. See, it won't even go in there. So, like I said, I don't really know what this come off of. Um, screw the, the top off. And then you can put the bulb in. Um, it's not a bayonet style. So, anyway, I don't know what this, this fits. I'm just uh, laying this out here for reference. Uh, I have this this one here, which uh, is dimmable. It's uh, got some Velcro on the bottom here, and this is the top piece, which has the uh, the end taken out of it. All right, <clears throat> so this kind of lays out um, what we have here. You'll know from experience that these little bulbs here, they're little halogen bulbs. And whenever you need these, you have to get them at especially places like Guitar Center or, you know, whatever, mail order. And they're pretty expensive. They're between 7 to $11 a piece. And a lot of times, like when I was traveling on the road, we would have, you know, four or five of these, you know, in the tech drawer. And by the end of the tour, you know you hadn't replaced them, and you'd have like two left, and you don't know where they went. And like I said, they're nine, ten dollars a piece, so they get expensive replacing these when people take them. So I've been on a quest to find an economical way around this. Um, a situation where when you're on the road, somewhere you could stop off and actually, you know, grab a bulb if you're in an emergency. So the first thing I've come up with is these two bulbs here. Um, the 57 being the number we want to go for. This is for some of the mixing consoles that run like the 15 volt um, through their booms. And a lot of them can be like 8 to 12 volts. But there are some that run 15, 18 volt. You'd want to run this 57. If you put the 57 like in the Yamaha console, it's a little dim. Uh, I think it's a little dim on the Mackie console as well. The... 53, um, you can get this bulb here will work just fine in a 12 volt console. And it's not super bright, but it is adequate. If you needed a bulb to go with, you can use this one here. So both of these bulbs here, you get a pack of them. Um, you're probably looking at $4 for each one of these. And that's not a bad price. But there are other options that I want to talk about. So... Um, and we'll talk about those in a minute. Later on, I'm going to show you these are taped up. And I'm going to show you why they're taped up. And I'm going to show you how we're going to fix that too. These are O-rings that I found. And that's to replace here and here. And what happens is, after a while, these O-rings go bad. And you find yourself with this piece here. Just kind of spinning around. And, yeah, when it's hanging like this, you can adjust it. But after the base, you know, kicks a few times, it'll start rotating. Next thing you know, it's pointing straight up. So you need to replace the O-rings. So there's a way around that as well. And what we're talking about is we're talking about things that you can go into, like your local Home Depot, Lowe's, any home center, and grab something, you know, that's just a few miles from the gig, take care of a problem, and then at the end of the night, you know, when you finish at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, you're just going to pack this stuff up and take off. By the time you load into the club, you're going to say, oh, man, I forgot to buy the bulb or I forgot to, you know, fix the O-rings. These are some of the things that you can do while you're on the road to actually fix these problems. So here is a cool solution that I have found that works extremely well. And these are LED bulbs. You can get these from a website called ledoption.com. And what's cool about it is you buy one of these halogen bulbs for $9. And it blows. Well, 
here's a spot and the reason it's a spot is because it's actually going to try to shine out the end instead of here and you'll see like these are made so that it reflects and shines down well here's some spots and you buy these on the LED option website and I think these are five dollars for a pair almost the exact same price as a regular dim incandescent bulb the drawback you have to wait for them you have to order them and it took about three or four days maybe five days for them to get here once they get there then you have these um, six LEDs that are going to last you forever well not maybe not forever but a lot longer than a standard bulb option two I'm gonna skip this one for right now here's another spot if you find yourself with one of these that you do not have the cover for so all you basically have is this then uh, I'm trying to light up right now all you have is this assembly then you can put this bulb in here and it does not dim so it doesn't matter where I'm at with the, the little wrist at it's going to stay the same but still it's super bright and it's a spot so let's see if I can turn the light out here so now you have a spot that you can if there's one specific area you need to spot then there you go and it works pretty good so those are great little spots right there and uh, they're kind of neat looking build no heat but this is the actual magic ticket right here this is what you need it is a spot and it has LEDs on the side it fits perfect inside here you have no problems with it fitting in here and it will shine down just the way you need it so what you end up with is still trying to do this one handed I have my little tripod there we may have to set it up on the tripod as you end up with a super bright LED that can shine let's grab this other one here it can shine down like this or shine any angle that you want and you can pull it off it's super bright it's still a spot if you had this one where the end's been pulled out this is done for a reason so that it can be a spot then when you put it on it shines down and it's still a spot so it does both so you can have it shining down on the board what this is made for you shine down on the board and you can hold your scripts out in front of it and uh, you can see your scripts so this here this bulb here is $12.99 for two bulbs and that's just amazing so you can upgrade your console with these LED bulbs go to ledoption.com and buy you several of these every for every mixture you've got in the house buy you a pair of these and you might want to have one extra pair laid around just in case something happens I've yet to have one burn out but you never know it could burn out at any time so this pretty much covers the the light bulb selection the reason I have these out here is I thought I had scored on something I plugged these in and it's super bright but I think these are like six volt bulbs because halfway through the show um, they blowed out and so I ended up replacing several of them and you can tell um, see if I can pull this out right quick and show you you can tell that it was the wrong voltage because it turned black and it still works if you t tap it so that was telling me that it's like a six or a three volt bulb so you got to be careful you know research what your bulbs are but the way to go ledoption.com and order these they're the 12.99 the part number is actually um, LED option underscore 50 L57 that's these right here 
and they'll cost you twelve ninety nine. <clears throat> I ordered all three of these at six bulbs, and with shipping, shipping cost me two dollars and sixty eight cent. The total was twenty eight sixty five. I bought all of these just so that I could do this research blog. So for twelve dollars, and then probably a couple of dollars in shipping, you can get these bulbs delivered to your house, and they're wonderful. They're super bright. They're white. It's not uh, offensive to your eyes, and I love them. Highly recommend them. Um, <clears throat> one last thing before I go, I wanted to show you another option here. Lights of America, they sell these bulbs. You can buy these at Walmart. That's actually what's in this light right here that, I'm, that I use for my light for filming. This actual piece right here, I clamp it to the side of the mixing console. And, uh, I clamp it to the side of the mixing console, and this is my light. I have, do not have a four-pin XLR from my Allen and Heath board yet because Allen and Heath wants a hundred bucks for it, and eBay I can find one for forty. So I'm still working on getting a light, but until then, I use this with one of these bulbs in it, and it works great. So builds no heat whatsoever. It's totally cool, and it's a nice white light, so you can see everything great. So that pretty much sums up the lighting, your console, and uh, the next video I'm going to cover repair and the O-rings and why the tape's on here. So please look for video number two. There will probably be an annotation down below and uh, there may be a video three. I'm not sure yet. We'll find out. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and give me a like. It helps me out a lot. It uh, kind of lets me know who I was watching my videos and makes it worthwhile to spend all this time and money doing research. So anyway, um, come read the blog that I wrote about this. It's going to be at uh, www.rickcperry.com. I'm on Google Plus as Rick C. Perry. Twitter is Rick C. Perry. Um, subscribe to my channels. Give me uh, plus ones, thumbs up, anywhere that you can find me. Just let me know you're out there. So thanks for watching.